everybody, and welcome back to War Thunder. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Deli G, or as I like to say, what's up, bro? I don't, <laughs> I don't really have anything. Yo, <laughs> Deli G. So, man, how you doing? You ready to fucking pump some uh, shells? Fucking pump some shells? Yeah, I'm freaking ready. Let's do it. All right. So, what? what's your favorite tank so far in War Thunder? You know, I'm really digging the 57, the T3457. It's definitely my favorite. Ah, right. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to, since uh, I'm going to actually roll on that first, uh, and I want to explain to the YouTube viewers uh, what it is that makes this tank special while I'm driving it. Uh, and what's kind of good about the, the uh, 57 is it's just raw penetrating power and the fact that it has really good maneuverability so you got a great gun mixed in with good maneuverability what's not to love uh, it does not take a hit though <laughs> oh no yeah you definitely got to play uh, aggressive but like kind of ninja style with it you know basically a light tank really really yep a light tank with a big gun Except the gun of a medium though exactly Man, yeah, you will love the Walker Bulldog. You will love that Walker Bulldog. Oh shit. oh, shit. Once I get there. I hope you get there someday, because <laughs> rolling out two Walker Bulldogs would just be something kind of amazing. You know, maybe after I finish off the Russian tiers, I'll finally make my transition to American. <sighs> Vladimir Yurkoslav. <laughs> Wow. Alright. Huh. Oh. Right. The only thing you need to do to be a good tanker in Russia is a b full bottle of vodka. You're That's correct. Walking you. I'm. Oh, I forgot. I don't have my KV2. music on. Name my KV2 the Lucky 8 Ball. All right. Shot. Bang. All right. That's a kill confirmed. All right. Uh, we're in a right. secret situation, viewers. Right. Um, I'm literally sitting here locked up on the hill, and uh, I got an angry Sherman yeah, aiming, at aiming at me. Oh, once I get this loaded, I'm going to destroy this tank destroyer. It's a stooge. All right. We're good to go. Apparently not today. All right. Well, we captured B. Now we need to work our way down to C. That's right. Oh, there's a tank destroyer. Oh, that's uh, it's just an A, I think. Any uh, threats down that way? Might have a hard time crossing. Uh, coming under the bridge, they're not looking at me though. So I'm gonna get a clear shot off on that guy. Wow, I missed. All right. Do you need covering fire? All right. He didn't see me though. Yeah, I do need some cover fire, please. All right, I'm Don't coming back. Straight at me. All right, I'm coming back. Oof. I heard that one. All right, all right. Who's who's a threat? Uh, they're both kind of approaching me, but definitely the Panzer over there. These are oh, just okay. AIs that I'm seeing. Oh, these are AIs. Okay, how can you tell if they're AIs? That they're kind of retarded. I don't know. It's kind of like stupid. it doesn't actually yeah, have a I name. Know. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna Let's kill go this. Watch got him. I got the tank destroyer. I think it was an AI though. Fuck, what am I doing rushing into No, am I moving? Okay, thank god these AIs are stupid because they can't actually hurt you. Dead. They can't actually hurt you. They're just they shooting like HE at you really. They're not really gonna be able to do any effective damage. Got it. They're really just oh, kind of free kills for anybody who's, or a distraction if you want to waste your time on them. Let's hurry up and get rid of all these guys and then get back to going. I got destroyed. 
What did what you get destroyed by? What did you get destroyed by? Uh, the Sturge. The Stooge way, way far away. Oh my yeah, gosh, there was a... Way. An enemy came up where we were killing those guys. And that sucks. Alright, well, I guess I'm KV2 time. And I'm 57. Alright. Looks like this is going to be a quick win. Good thing we grabbed those points. Yeah, we're dominant right now. I don't even use the HE anymore. Just I don't know. Some about those AP, those new AP shells, I just love them to death. Yeah. I can't hit as high above my tier as I would be able to with the HE, but something about those AP, man, they're just they're good. I love them. I got you. Oh, I missed. AP oh, run, I missed. I'll... I was trying to predict Try him uh, crossing that bridge. All right, hey, here's another good tactical place that you can go to. Uh, is going around the bridge. Yeah, where you're heading over there. They don't expect uh, people yeah. to go often. So it's kind of it's pretty tactical. And there's like an undulation under the ground where you can get nice, clean, easy kills. Easy kills. Ooh, yeah, I got that guy. I hit his ammo rack. Nice shot, nice shot. Uh, we got a bomber run about to come in. Oh, uh, shit. Gotta be vigilant about that. Make sure we don't get bombed. Ooh, the stooge got me. I thought I could get away from him, but he got me. He's out there. He's dead. Nice shot. Thank you, thank you. The F2 doesn't even realize I'm here. So I know who my next victim is. Get up. Uh, and this is another thing that you guys want to incorporate whenever you're running with tanks of higher caliber with longer reloads. Don't just wait in the open for your reload to happen. You need to make sure you got your ability to engage the enemy target. Otherwise, you are the target. It's all about being the hunter, not the hunted. Yeah, definitely. Like, definitely take cover when you're reloading. That was my mistake uh, earlier. Well, with the 57, I can understand how you come over that. You know, you're like, wow, this thing's had a quick reload, but, you know, sometimes even a quick reload's not enough. Fair. Yeah. Ooh, I almost oh, I had a chance to get my redemption. <laughs> and I didn't know he was still alive over there. Nice game. Dude, I, I pinned through that stoog so hard that uh you could see the shell land in the background behind him. <laughs> dude, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I know, dude. Oh my god, the KV's AP shells are just they're too much. I love them. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go and head and do a twofer. We're gonna do Two for one video. Do another one? Yeah, two for one. Let's go. Man. All right. And uh, next uh, video, I'm going to roll in the SU-122. Give that a try. That's, that that's going to be a good one. It's got faster reload. It's it's about more like the uh, 20 second mark or something like that. Um, it's got a heat. Not APCR, heat. Yeah, it's got heat shells that penetrate, I think, 140 millimeters of penetration. Or 150, I can't remember. Right. 150, I can't remember. That's a, that's a good round right there. Yeah, it, it definitely hurts. Oh, we have break. I don't really like this game mode at all. But... Oh, it's 160, sorry. I undersold this on the shell. <laughs> you undersold it by a good 20 right there. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference between a bounce and a pin. All oh, right. That sexy right. SU-122. Yeah, my gun's almost as big as yours. <laughs> JK, 30 millimeters is a yeah. big difference. Ha, 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 ha. So, uh, Deli G, you know, uh, this is the first time you were on my channel. Go ahead and, uh, like, explain yourself. Like, what do you do? Like, and kind of introduce yourself, like, more so than just your name. What do I do? You know? Okay, well, I'm Deli G. Real name is Brandon Delgado. Anyways, well, I'm a co-worker of Mr. Josh over here. I'm the barista at Reesers. I um, 
I whip up some good coffee. And, you know, I try to have fun over there when it's not busy, which is all the time, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah the uh oh man that place is dead 24 7 yeah it is dead it will be gone soon i'm i'm feeling it oh i don't know how this accuracy is going to work at long ranges but i don't want to put this thing up close either Ooh, there's a locust here we go load her up yeah not gonna be able to hit him uh ooh. Let's just take the shot. Speculatory. Take, take a shot. Megander. What's the reload time on the 120? Uh, I think, it, like I said, I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 seconds. Oh, okay. Somewhere around there. It doesn't actually tell me on screen, so. I'm going to go up here and actually put pressure on B. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get in the cover. Just so I'm not getting hit. That is the one good thing about the uh, KV-2. It, it's better than the SU-152 in every way except for reload. Gun performance, it's not its strong suit. But it has armor and it has a turret, which are both very big negatives for the SU-152. So, yeah. So, they're both things you'll have to uh, get adjusted to. I cannot range in any shots here. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ranging in over here either. But I do have 75 mil of penetration from any dis or from my distances. So <laughs> I can definitely get a good shot. I hit somebody. Oh, I'm gonna go for this Osfed M. I don't know why it's hard to like pull off these shots, but uh, I mean, shit. This is why I don't like to snipe with these HE style howitzer barrels. Yeah, they're they won't really hit your target most of the time. <clears throat> oh shit! There's a Sherman shooting. At me. I mean, what? How'd I miss? That was really weird. I missed from ten meters. Oh man. It's okay. Our teammate took care of it. I was really more worried for my own life here. Uh, got an Osfet L over here with me. Trying to keep myself. This is the bad thing about these long reloads and being stuck by myself. Though I am loaded and ready to destroy. <laughs> he thought I was going to take that shot. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, possibly uh, need your support up here. I don't know. I can't really chase him yeah, around the corner. I'll be. I'll, I'll get my way up there. Just give me a second. There is a shell to my dome. Oh, I got a critical hit. Awesome. Yeah, I really need All support right, now. I'm really coming up your way. Now. I'm coming up your way, man. I he hit my gunners. So now I'm having a really long reload as well. Yeah. And my um, barrel might blow up on me if I should. Gang banging. I don't even know if I can pull out the shot. I have gun barrel damage. Shit! There's another guy. Fuck! I'm dead. Yeah, they're everywhere. And thus the disadvantages of no turret. I got the head, sir. Dang, this this is bad. My reload time is just not doing well in this close range right now. All right. Well, I'm loading in the 1942. We should have uh, all the uh, bull crap we need. I'm gonna go ahead and load into an attacker plane, and I'm gonna come in and give some uh, air support to you. All right, man. Yeah, sounds great. I'm just trying to reload enough so I can take this os. Oss F out. Oh, he's been destroyed. Never mind.
Which plant? Uh, which uh, flag are you at? I forget. I'm at B right now. B. B. Yep. You sure it's B? Yep. There you go. I got one vehicle. I don't know scratch I that. Two vehicles. Panzer three, you're my next target. Panzer three. Who's over here worried about freaking not even real tanks? Freaking not even real tanks. <laughs> this is part of the reason those things are in the game to help uh, distract people. The AI. Cannon fodder. Yeah, basically. Alright, pushing up. Alright, killed him. All fully on the move, too. That was a fun little shot. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Let's go ahead and do exactly what I just gave that guy crap for. Okay, what's up with this? I'm missing from literally from 10 meters away. Did you upgrade your crew on him? Yeah, I was about to say, you need to upgrade that. Yeah, I do. Damn, that sucks. I've had three kills already, or I missed. I need to upgrade my crew. How does that not do any damage? There we go. Sorry, I will not miss this shit. Alright, I got seven uh, kills so far. Very nice. So, 1942 is a bit OP, like I've said before. You got a motor carriage just running around here. Got him? Yes, sir. All right, now let's get this cat point. He's done for. Alright, supposedly that is 10 kills. Dang, you are definitely doing some work here. Artie. <laughs> Let's make that 11. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit, there's another one. There goes my track. Let's 
get moving so I can get some kills. Alright, there you go. That's what I was looking for. Alright, that's 14 thus far. Is this the most you've gotten in one game? I think so. I think this is definitely the most kills. Well, this is a good video then. This is. This is. No rage at all. It's, no gonna, be a, at all. it's gonna be a long video, isn't it? Yeah, we need a cap B. We need to actually finish that cap off. Yeah. Well, damn, I don't know how it stops. Everybody got off. I was on it, but I went in for that PZ3 yeah, kill. Then I, then I got impatient. Yeah, they're all pretty much finished. <laughs> There's an enemy. Uh, it's a BT5. Why is this guy hiding back here? Alright, I think that was actually the last enemy. Well, taking that kind of a guess anyways. Looks like it. I don't think we're going to cap this before we uh, win the game. Alright, well, we've captured both points. It's going to go down hefty fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, uh, but they just capped B. That's good. I could use a few more kills. Dude, we should have. We should win already. Oh, <laughs> we killed the last enemy. There it goes. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good match. That was a really good. Fourteen kills. Holy shit! And I can't argue with that. On a recording, too. Hey, I like that. That's definitely going up. Alright. Now, uh, score to beat is 14 kills. Alright. That is correct, my friend. Share that bitch to YouTube. Not YouTube, but, uh, Facebook. Not, you're gonna do that to Facebook? Uh, yeah. I share the stats to Facebook. Got it. 14 kills. Alright. Well, I guess that's going to conclude this game, Plague. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed our guest, Deli G. We'll probably continue to play through the night and make a few more videos, but, uh, this is definitely uh, ending this video on a high note. Um, and that right there explains all the while why this battle rating of 3.3 .3 is a little underkill for a tank this spectacular. Oh well. I'll see you guys later. Just ran out.